When I use ChatGPT, even with the paid version of ChatGPT, I often run out of credits. So they limit you even with the plus version of ChatGPT, that's $20 a month, the team version, those all have a cap on how often you could use ChatGPT, how often you could make images with Dolly. But this option that I wanna show you today, you get unlimited usage of ChatGPT. It's actually never gonna tell you that you hit a limit. So you could use all the different models. I have pretty much every ChatGPT model available here. I have Dolly 2 and Dolly 3 available so I can make images. And this is not some weird jailbreak or anything like that. This is gonna run on your computer. So you have to go through the installation processes, five easy steps. And this also gives you access to other large language models too. So I have Llama 3 installed over here, Mistral, bunch of different models you could install and run it side by side with ChatGPT. This also has a ton of other options, like you could search your previous chat. For some reason, ChatGPT doesn't have. You could go ahead and upload documents and use ChatGPT to analyze documents, interact with documents. Ton of different options, and I'll show you them in this video. So how does this work exactly? So the way it works is OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has something called an API key. And when you give it the API key, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. All you have to do is use that other web page that I showed you this. I'm gonna show you how to install this too. You add your API key, and every time you use ChatGPT inside of this app, you get charged usually a fraction of a penny. And then sometimes when you generate images like this with Dolly 3, it could be three cents, four cents every time you generate an image. So you're paying per usage. So if you are a super power user and you're using the $20 or the $30 Teams plan, and you need much more than that, this is the way to do that. You're gonna get unlimited usage. You just pay for what you want. Some months, you pay way less than $20 if you're not using ChatGPT all that much. So it could even be cheaper than the paid plan. But this is done through the OpenAI API. This is just the official way to set it up. And this other app I'm gonna show you, this is called Open Web UI. There's five steps for installing it on your computer. And I'll cover that in this video. And then once we installed it, I'll show you exactly everything that you could do in this application. And this video is brought to you by skillleap.ai, more on that in a bit. Okay, so let's go through the five-step process to installing that application, and then I'll show you how to get that OpenAI API key to add to it. So five steps to install this application here. The first thing you wanna do on step one is go to a website called olama.com. This is the website right here and just go ahead and press download right over here. This works on Mac OS, it works on Windows, and it works on Linux. Choose your operating system and press download, and then in your download folder, just double click and install Olama. Okay, then you're gonna get this pop-up right here, so I'm gonna press next, and it's gonna say install right over here, and I'll type in the password to my computer, and then it's gonna give me this line of code right here, Olama space run space Llama 3.1. So all this is doing is telling me to install a large language models. This is from Meta AI, it's called Llama 3. So I just need to install this on my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And that's gonna bring us to step number two, which is installing that line of code. So the way we do that is with another app that comes installed on your Mac and it comes installed on your PC. It's called Terminal. So if you search for Terminal, and if you open it up, this is what it looks like. And all you have to do is right here on this blank line, just paste that, what I just copied. So it's Olama space run space Llama 3.1. You could also type it in over here, press enter, and it's gonna pull that from the web. So at this point, your internet should be on and it's gonna access that to install Olama 3.1. So let this installation finish. This depends on the size of the file. So it's 4.7 gigabytes and your internet speed. So I'll let this finish up. This is step two, installing Llama 3 on your computer. Okay, at this point, right at the end, you should see this right here that says success. And then it's asking you, do you wanna to talk to it? So if you just talk to it right here, you've installed a large language model on your computer called Olama 3.1. Obviously, when they have a new model and you're watching this later, it's gonna be a different number over here. But right now, we have a large language model installed on our computer, but this is not what I wanted to show you. We're gonna run it in that other app that looks like ChatGPT and we're gonna add ChatGPT to it, but we're also gonna have Llama 3 too since we set that up. So I could actually close this right now so I could terminate the terminal app. 
Now that brings us to step number three, which is an optional step. But right here on this Olama.com website, if you go to the models tab, so so far, all we've done is install Llama 3.1 to our computer. But if we wanted to add other models, we're gonna add the different chat GPT models and Dolly and all kinds of things in a second. But right now, if we wanted to add other models, we can. So there's other models, Gemma 2 is a model that's pretty good from Google and is small, there's Mistral. So you don't have to do this, this is just optional, but I wanted to point out if you click on any of those, it gives you another line of code, Olama run Gamma 2. So it's always gonna be Olama space run space, whatever the name of the model is. And again, you could add these to terminals. You could copy these and add them to terminals. So that's one option to do it, but always pay attention to the size. This is five gigabytes. So if you install like 10 different models, some of them are 27 gigabytes and they're gonna take up ton of space on your computer. So be careful. But the app I'm gonna show you, it makes it really easy to add and remove them later too. So this is an optional step if you wanted to do it here. If you're not familiar with these models, Llama 3.1 right now is the best open source model, meaning once you download it to your computer, you could turn off your Wi-Fi, it's completely private, and you could run it on your computer and it could do a ton of different things. But some of the things that ChatGPT is gonna do, which is not gonna be private because ChatGPT is going to talk to OpenAI with the API key, it's gonna send data back and forth. So that is not a private way to run it, but if you wanted to run it privately, you just stick with Llama 3. But this is a ChatGPT video, so I'm gonna focus more on that here. Now that brings us to step number four, which is we need to download something called Docker. So if you go to docker.com, you could just go ahead and click right here. And by the way, the five steps that I'm mentioning, I'm gonna put them in the description so you make sure you go through it in that very step-by-step -step way. And again, this is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It should automatically detect your computer and select the option for you here. Let me install Docker. I'll add it to my applications folder. And if I open up applications here, Docker has been installed. So I could go ahead and open it over here. Now, you don't have to do anything in Docker. You don't actually have to touch Docker. I'm just gonna open it up here just to show you. This is what it looks like. It says your container will show up here. We're not gonna do anything. You literally just have to open it and that's it. So I'm just gonna minimize it. Again, nothing has happened with the Docker app. It's just been installed and opened. It's minimized now. And that brings us to the very last step, which is we need to install something called Open Web UI. So I'll put a link in the description to this page, Open Web UI. And this is something you need to install on your computer. So what I showed you in the beginning of the video, that was Open Web UI. It just needed all those other pieces in the background to run correctly. But if you go down over here, there's a line of code again, we have to copy and paste. It says, if Olama is on your computer, that was our very first step. I know for a fact that it is. In fact, it shows up all the way up here on my Mac. It says quit Olama, it's running right now. So I just have to copy this line of code over here and I just have to install that on the terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for terminal one more time. And again, I have a fresh copy. So I just close the last one, here's a new one. I just type that in and press enter. Okay, and it's gonna do some stuff here. At first it says unable to find, but then it went to work over here. So as long as you've done all the other things, you've installed Olama, Docker is open and minimized, it's installed, and you just should be able to get to this point over here. It's gonna download everything for you. And once that's done, it says download newer image. I had one already, and this is done. So I could go ahead and close the terminal app right over here. So all I had to do is install this line of code from this page. Again, I'll link this below, docs.openwebui.com getting started. And that's all you have to do. Now, I opened up the Docker app that I had minimized. So this whole time we installed Docker, minimized it, we didn't touch anything. It just needs to be running on your computer. But now there is a container right here. It's running, it says running right now. And you could go ahead and click this option right here that says port, this number right here. And by the way, anytime if you wanna pause this from running, you just press stop right over here. So as long as Docker is running, you're going to be able to use everything I'm about to show you. But right now I'm gonna click this right here where it says ports. That's gonna open up this thing called localhost 3000. And it's gonna ask us to sign into something called open web UI, which is what we just installed. So we just have to press sign up if you don't have it yet, just press sign up over here. 
and create yourself an account. And then once you have an account, I already have an account. So you just type in your email and password and press sign in. Okay, I'm logged in. It usually brings up this page because they constantly improve this. So there's gonna be some upgrades over here that you could always read about, but I'm just gonna press let's go. And let me show you exactly how to start using this and how to add ChatGPT for unlimited use of ChatGPT. Now, before I show you that, I'm sponsoring my own video with our own platform. It's called skillleap.ai. And it's a membership and a community and a library of courses that you could subscribe to. And it works like Netflix. As long as you're subscribed, you don't have to buy individual courses. You get access to 20 plus courses. We have a course on this platform as well. If you want to dive deeper, it's only about an hour, but it shows you all kinds of different things you could do inside a platform like building custom chatbots and things like that. But this is available as one of our 20 courses and you get access to our community and ton of resources. I think at this point we have well over 50 downloadable resources and we add new courses all the time. So you could subscribe monthly or yearly, but it does have a free trial just to make sure it's a good fit without costing you anything. And you could go through a course and see how it is. I teach about half the courses there and we have other instructors with other expertise. So I'll put that link in the description. It's called Skill Leap AI. Back to the video. Okay, so right over here, the first thing you wanna do is if you click on top, it's gonna to ask you to select the model. And remember in the beginning when I showed you all kinds of different models, those were all open source models. So they're totally free to use. At this point, you could run any of them if you want to. So I have Llama 8B right here. I have Llama 70B, which requires a pretty beefy computer. Mine barely could handle it. But if I choose this one, I could start chatting with it just like ChatGPT, but it's not using ChatGPT, it's using Llama 3. So how do we actually add ChatGPT? So let me show you that part. So if I click this settings option right here, I could go to the admin panel from here. So under the admin panel, if you click settings right here, you could see all kinds of different settings that you could change. So if you go to the models tab right here, these are the things that are available for you, the open source model. So if you wanted to pull in other models and not go through the terminal, so you could just type in the name of the model right here and then download it. And any model you've installed here, you could go ahead and select them, delete them from here. Something I didn't cover in the previous videos I've made about this. But what you wanna do here is you wanna go to this right here, connections. And with connections right on top, you're gonna see api.openai.com. This is where your API key is gonna go. And what this API key is gonna do is it's gonna create a bridge, a connection between this app and OpenAI. And then as you use it, you will get charged per usage. I'll show you some pricing in a second because it almost does a real time update on how you're being charged, which is really nice. And you kind of have a cap on it as well, so you don't spend too much. So all I have to do is find this API key. So let's go to that step now. If you go to the OpenAI website, so openai.com, and you click on products right here, there's an option for API login. Click right here, and it's gonna ask you to log in. Now, this is totally different. If you're paying for ChatGPT, this is not related at all to that. This is related to the API. So it's not gonna use your 20 or $30 a month ChatGPT subscription. That's gonna be totally separate. We're gonna choose API here. Okay, and on this page, all I have to do is go to the dashboard tab right on top. And on the left side, there is an option, it says API key. So click over here and you could see I have multiple keys right now running on this account, but all you have to do is click right on top, create a new secret key, name your key, and then press create. Now it's gonna give you this key, so go ahead and copy it. You're not gonna be able to see this key again. So if you make a mistake and you lose this key, you just have to press the trash can right here and delete it and then create a new one and then put that new one in. Or just save it in a safe place because as soon as I copy and press done, it's gonna look like this. I could never see that key. And don't share it with anyone because that key literally lets people build AI apps using that key and then use your credit. So you don't wanna share it, it should be a secret key. Now, if I go back over here to my web UI tab right here, I just paste that over here. This is my secret key and I just press save on the bottom. Now, one more thing I wanna show you, if you come to the images tab right over here, right on top, if you click this drop down, you could actually use Dolly too. So that requires another setup. So if you press that, Dolly, now this is gonna be the same exact API key that we just copied. So I just have it stored still. So I'm just gonna paste it over here. Your API key could access Dolly, could access all the chat GPT models like GPT-40. 
And then we want to go ahead and turn this on right over here. So I'm going to turn it on and we could choose between Dolly 2 and Dolly 3. If you choose Dolly 3, you have to change the image size because this is not compatible. So you have to type in 1024 by 1024 like this and then press save. Okay, so now we have Dolly 3 installed. We also have all the different chat GPT models installed. So let's go to the new chat tab right here. We click this. And right on top, if I click this, you could see I have a ton of new models. So add all those open source models like Llama that we installed, but now I have all these chat GPT models. And chat GPT right here, GPT-40 latest, is probably what you want to pick. If you're watching this later and it's a different number, you typically want to pick whatever the latest is. And sometimes they're dated too. So GPT-40 in August 2024, GPT-40 mini. Now, in this case, and if you're using the paid version of ChatGPT inside of ChatGPT.com, you're using this one all the time anyway, most likely. And I'm going to set this as default so I don't have to choose it every time. Otherwise, every time you open this, it's going to ask you to choose a model first. And now I could just give it a prompt, talk to ChatGPT just like I would any other time, except now it's not going to hit a limit because I'm going to pay per usage. Now, a couple of things I want to show you. One is you could go ahead and upload documents over here and interact with those documents. So GPT-40 has vision capabilities, data analytics all built in. So I have this screenshot here. Let me upload this. And as you could see, it's using its vision capabilities inside of GPT-40. And it did a nice job reading everything that was here. This was a list of 20 courses we have on Skill Leap, and it listed them all out over here. What's really nice about this is if you press the plus sign right here, you could compare two different models at the same time. So if I wanted to compare this with uh, the Llama model, this Llama 8B model, it could actually run both of these at the same time. So if you give it a prompt, it's going to run it and it's going to give you an answer with GPT-40 and Llama and you could actually add multiple models. And some other things that are really cool is if you go to the workspace tab, you could actually create a model, which means these work like custom GPTs. So you would choose ChatGPT as the large language model that's going to run this model. And this is going to have a system prompt. It's going to have some suggestions. Your knowledge base could go here. It has some tools, capabilities like vision. All that is available for creating custom GPTs now without any type of limit running on your own computer. I'll make a different video about this, but this is really awesome that they have that built in. And this is available right over here, creating models. All your previous models that you've built yourself or you've downloaded are all going to appear over here. They got a ton of other advanced options too that you could explore on your own. Now, what about the Dolly option? So I'm going to ask it to create an image for me. And one thing I've noticed for some reason, it always says I can create an image. So maybe this is something they're working on. But then as soon as it's finished, there's a little tab right here. It says generate an image. Now you have to be on the ChatGPT 4.0 model or a model that's capable of making an image. This one is capable of making an image. And there we go. We got ourselves an advanced computer lab over here. And this is based on the size that I set up. So I could go ahead and download it right to my computer as a PNG. Now, let me point out pricing here for a second. Now, if I go back to the OpenAI, so this is platform.openai.com slash usage or this tab right here. This shows me exactly how much I've spent today. So $13 today on this account. And it breaks it up exactly on what I've spent money on. So GPT-40 is less than a penny. As I mentioned, it's a fraction of a penny to generate text responses. But the image model, you could see that's eight cents is spent on that. And I tested out GPT-4 also a couple of cents there. So these models are getting cheaper and cheaper every time they release a new one. But the image model, I've only generated two images today and it's about four cents per image using Dolly 3. Dolly 2 is going to be cheaper. But if you don't care about image creation, again, this is going to be a fraction of a penny, sometimes a penny or two every time you analyze the document, get text responses and things like that. So you don't have to worry about price too much. Once you start getting to a limit that is much more than what you're paying the paid version of ChatGPT, you could go ahead and set yourself a limit here. So I can't spend more than $120 a month limit. But again, this is for power users that are constantly hitting a wall when using ChatGPT with the Plus version or the Teams version, and they want an unlimited version. So you just pay as you go over here. Again, all the steps, all the resources I mentioned are linked in the description. And hopefully this was useful to you. As you could see, this could be sometimes more powerful than just using ChatGPT.com. Has a ton of different things I just touched on the surface level of what it's capable of. 
and it's called Open Web UI. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.